necessary. Like, there is really no reason for people to be this upset. Like, at all. Like, I just don't understand, like... I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm the one that's fucked up. Maybe... Maybe everybody's right. Maybe we should have gone out into the universe and cast a Tamaranian to play Starfire. I don't know how I could be so insensitive. I'm I'm so sorry, guys. I'm I must be the most fucked up person on the planet to think, you know what? This person is Tamaranian. We clearly need to get a Tamaranian to play this person. Like, I don't understand how we didn't just launch out into space, pick up one of these people, and then just, you know, nonchalantly have them portray themselves accurately in this movie. I mean, clearly I must be the naive one. There's some, you know what? It must be because I'm fucking, I'm a fucking idiot. Obviously, I must be the dumbest piece of shit on this planet. I, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. It's just wild. So let's go over some of the comments that we had here. And then I'm going to address some of the comments uh, that you guys have and some of the thoughts that you guys might have on the trailer that came out, on the show itself, on the costumes, just everything. We'll we'll talk about it. So, Tripod says, um, my only problem is, is having to get the DC Network to watch this. I don't want to pay for it. You know what? I was feeling some type of way about the DC Universe Network, but at the same time, you do get like Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, all of the Justice League, Batman Beyond, like... You get a lot of shit on there. Basically, if it's existed in the DC world, like, you can buy it. Like, you can watch it. So, I mean, it, it's not that bad, but it's just, I, I don't know. I, I, I want to see a little bit more. Like, I, I want to know. Here's, here's the most fucked up part. We all know that Teen Titans is coming back for a season six. This is already, like, across the board. Like, it's already happening. So, it'll just be really fucked up. If they only stream season six of Teen Titans on the DC Universe platform, that would be, that would kind of like set me over the edge where I'd be like, fuck y'all, even though I'm still going to pay for it and watch it. I'll probably pirate the episodes. I'm not even going to lie. I'm just, I don't have time to watch that shit. So let's see. Babacar said, I'm fine with Starfire being black, but at least get her costume right. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of people that were saying, you know, like, oh, this is probably just, you know, cut from a one specific episode. She probably doesn't look like that. But in, in my expertise of the shit that I've seen in the entertainment industry, what you see is usually what you get. So, I don't know, man. I, I can only speculate. I can only hope for something else. But, you know, it's just... Who knows? Where, where, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm upset by it. I'm bothered by it. Am I writing over it? Nah, not really. He said, my mans, I agree with you 100%. There's no way I'm about to read this entire thing. But he does go in to mention... Uh, the shitstorm that was rose from Star Wars. Um, I didn't see that most recent Star Wars. I actually haven't liked the last three Star Wars, but that's just me. Um, it's just a bunch of racist trolls who inevitably, uh, let's see, which, which are inevitable. That's right. Yeah. We just racist trolls exist and it's in an unfortunate part of fandom. You know, it's everybody's toxic out there in every sort of fandom. Like, like there's some toxic fans that I have. So you know who you are. Some of you niggas just be getting wild up in other people's comments. Some of you niggas just be getting wild in my comments. So, you know, but hey, I love you guys. I wouldn't want to have it any other way. But uh, let's see. He said they could have had it better played out like Zoe Saldana's situation in Guardians. Female black Latina plays a green alien with green makeup. Exactly. I don't see what the big deal is. Just cover, cover the broad in makeup, bro. That's all you really had to do. It wasn't so much of a huge situation where it was like, oh, everything got to get out of hand. We got to get racist and all this other shit. But I just think the average person is a lot dumber than we give them credit for. So, because not everybody thinks with their brain. They think with somebody else's opinion. So, you know, that's just how a lot of people formulate their thoughts and how they pr proceed to do things. I mean, you know, I like to formulate my own op um, opinion based off of experience and whatever I happen to come across. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Gaming Goku said, oh, man, this video is comedy gold. I'm always keeping it canon. Thank you, my boy. I think the show's producers are trolling us at this point. You know what? I, I don't think I don't think it's a troll. I don't think the people creating this show are capable of trolling to this level like like it is such a high level of trolling senpai that that it's just like 
there's no possible way. It's like, it's like meta levels of trolling. We're talking like Teen Titans Go level of like trolling. Like we all know Teen Titans Go has just this whole meta type of thing where it makes fun of the original show, which a lot of people don't like that Teen Titans Go does that. But those are just a few outlier situations of some man children crybabies that just sit there and boohoo about how the original Teen Titans wasn't coming back. But now they're up and over the moon, you know, oh my God, Teen Titans Go has always been shit and blah, blah, blah. Like, go, first of all, go fuck yourself with a nine inch dildo fam. Like, it's just, it's just stupid. Uh, let's see. Starfire dead ass looks like a hooker though. I mean, yeah, I, I I don't know what it is about about this costume. I don't know why they chose it specifically. Like the fur jacket just kind of sets it over for me. I mean, sure, I'm sure the rest of her costume is probably dope. You know what I mean? So let's see. What does Vanessa say? Burn the uncultured swines. Burn them now. I know, girl. We are on the same page. We are on the same page. Let's see. Uh. Jake Cyborg is supposed to be in the Doom Patrol series. Listen, check this out, bro. I was having people tweet at me saying, oh, Cyborg can't be in, in the Teen Titans or Cyborg should be in the Teen Titans. And I'm just like, I don't fucking care. Like, if he's not in there, he's not in there. Let the show proceed to do whatever the fuck he wants. So, you know, I I, I, I don't really give a shit. Let him, let if, if he's going to be in the, just, in the Justice League, which I don't know if they have the same source material i don't know if they take place within the same universe but could you guys imagine if the titans took place in the same universe as the current justice league movie like like batman versus superman happened you know what i mean like ugh, ugh, i really hope we get a flashpoint paradox to just fix that whole fucking thing i'm seeing a lot of stuff in the comments so so let me see what you guys are talking about in the live chat let me see doom patrol but yet that save that for beast boy is that what you're saying bro you need to type in full english before before you go saying anything else he said i don't give a fuck about starfire that much he said i'm lost right now uh gamer dash we're talking about teen titans bro we're talking about the new titan show man he said it's canon type <laughs> i care more about my bay raven he said i've been living under a rock for a minute oh man yeah you must have you got to go catch up with the videos on the channel man you got to go catch up Jakizi says, yeah, I don't care for st if Starfire is black. It's the way her costume looks. It's just no. <laughs> just no. This man in all caps. Only one who has a good costume uh, was Robin. Even he feels more like Jason Todd than Dick Grayson. Um, you know what actually bothers me is like with Zack Snyder coming out and confirming that that suit from Batman versus Superman or from Justice League or whichever movie it was that that was Dick Grayson's costume and not Jason Todd's. Like that already confirms that these two universes are separate, but it also kind of bugs me just to see that both of these storylines are just fucking weird. Like Robin becomes Nightwing in this one, allegedly. So it's like, at what point does the Nightwing portion take, take over? Why does he have this unnecessary hatred for Batman? Which I mean, yeah, there's parts of Batman the animated series where Robin did actually actually in the comic book too like in one of I guess in probably one maybe two of the comics I don't know I didn't read all the fucking comics like that but I could see why uh Dick Grayson would think that Bruce Wayne robbed him of a childhood so that way he can be a fucking vigilante yeah I get that I totally get that he said preach they recently made her look white uh you know what bro a lot of people was getting up. So there was, I remember that comment now. This one guy was just like, I don't understand how Starfire could be black and she's an alien. Like that was, that was like the comment or something. And then he had like fucking just tons of shit after that, that I just did not want to fucking read. And I was like, the rest of this opinion, you can go fuck yourself, bro. Like I just, like it's an alien who fucking cares. Like they could have casted a Hispanic girl, an Indian girl, like so many other different races for this specific alien. Like I just, Whatever, man. It's, I, I guess it's just none of my business. He said, also, DC has always been ass compared to Marvel. I don't know about all that, bro. I'll, Ultra, I don't know about all that, bro. You might be smoking smoking some strong dope there, fam. Like, DC has been behind because they're trying to catch up with Marvel instead of making their own shit. But um, you, you, can't, you can't sit here and be like, DC is always behind Marvel because DC is just... They just clap when it comes to animations. Like, Marvel don't even touch them when it comes to animation. So, you know what? When it when it comes to cartoons and shit, bro, they just get their shit rocked. So, that's all I'm saying. 
Let's see. Starfire equals the Human Torch. I mean, yeah, you know, in a, in a trailer. He said, I promote Jay Sama to be the... I promote Jay Sama to be the new producer of Titans. I mean, that would be so nice, man. Could you guys imagine if they made me responsible for some of these shows? First of all, I don't think they would get made just because the amount of shit that you have to do would just be fucking ridiculous. Like, just getting all of the people together, you know, the director, the writers, the editors, the fucking... The rest of the producers, like, getting all that shit together is just too much work. I can barely manage my YouTube channel, okay? So, don't, don't be out here talking about Jay need to manage this, that, and the other thing. Let me cross that bridge when I get to it, fam. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really see a reason for me to ju immediately jump into that. He said, you're not wrong about their animation. I'm saying, these are straight facts, bro. They confirmed in the DCEU that it's Dick Grayson is dead. Yeah, exactly. Hawaiian Starfire, that would also be dope. That would be really good. So, you know, all I'm saying is, you know, Beast Boy should be green. You know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done about this show. But I, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it the 3 to 5 episode rule. And if you guys aren't familiar with the 3 to 5 episode rule, it's usually just something that exists uh, in like a lot of like anime so basically you give the show the first three to five episodes unless the first episode is just absolutely boring by the third to fifth episode if you're not like intrigued in at least something in the show fucking drop it it's a waste of time it's just absolute trash like but there's been anime where i've made it to 25 episodes and just needed to drop it after that because it was just straight boring all 25 episodes <coughs> one piece but you know i mean who who knows you know when you spend 10 hours of watching content and you're just like oh man like i i just don't see myself getting behind this <coughs> one piece um you know it's just I, what else can be done i mean how much more do i need to watch like if you can't hook an audience member by episode 25 like what, what, what are you even doing? I don't understand. So, you know, but that's that's just me and my opinion. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? I'm only a nigga with 3,000 subs. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know I, I don't know how the fuck to do nothing. So, Tron Game says, That's been my argument for years. The studio are, re are the real culprits. As for Robin having the better costume, this DC slash WB, they go make sure anything Batman Gotham related is done right. Um... I mean, I guess I could see why you would get that opinion, but I, I personally only watched like some of the first season of Gotham. It was boring. Um, the villains I'm not really interested in unless they get their own shows or something like that, or like they get their own dynamic. Like Batman needs to exist for some of these characters to even exist. So that's why I don't take it seriously. So I would have liked to see that Bloodhaven show that was being talked about like five, six, seven years ago, where it was a Nightwing show. But, I mean, I, I guess, you know, since the superhero fad was just so popular ever since uh, Smallville, I mean, everybody kind of just wants to ride that wave, you know? Superheroes are in right now. Uh, next thing you know, um, we'll probably fall in love with aliens and Animorphs will come back and all sorts of crazy shit, bro. So, you know, we never, we never know. But I feel like... And there was a zombie wave for a cool minute, a post-apocalyptic wave for a minute on TV. So... You know, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. You know, television moves in waves. So we'll we'll see something. I'm not sure about seeing the rest of this stuff. Because, like, I can't get attached to shows like, like Arrow and The Flash. Like, they're just fucking boring to me. And plus, like, you actually have to watch them on actual television. Which means you have to keep up with that shit. And I'm like, ah. Uh, commercials. And, I mean, you can watch them online. But then you got to have a subscription for whatever that is. And they just... They just don't interest me. I'm sorry. They just don't. I'm bored. I don't give a shit. So, let me say One Piece with a 800 seasons head ass. Exactly, right? Don't nobody want to watch that shit. So, but you know, I'm excited to see where the, where the rest of the show goes. I'm excited to see what they do with it. And I only say excited because I get to make videos out of it. So, I mean, if it wasn't for that, y'all know I wouldn't be talking about this shit. The fuck? So, but um, I'm interested to see what my community says. I'm interested to see what y'all, what y'all think, okay? Let me know. Let me know. Drop, drop it. I want to see, not like paragraphs, but like three, three lines or something, you know, like, 